everybody, my name is Paul Darby from DotsCorp, and in this short video I want to show you how to use this apply stationary option inside PDF Docs. We use this mainly for overlaying other PDFs onto the documents we're creating. For example, letterheads. We have a, a main letterhead and then a continuation sheet that we want to create. Now, so to prep up really, what I've got here is those documents are converted to PDF. So I have some headed paper and I have a continuation sheet that are already a PDF, and that's what we're going to be using in this. So to create a um, stationary set, if you drop the option down, we do have the ability to just customize stationary. And this really means it's like a one time option. You can you can just overlay something quickly. But if you are creating letterheads, then stationary sets is uh, manage stationary sets is the option to use here. And really, it gives you the same uh, information, just with the ability to save. Now, stationary sets are broken down into parts. So what do you want to do with the first page? What do you want to do with the rest of the pages? Do you just want to do something with the last page, the first page, etc.? So what we need to do first is to create a stationary part. And I'm going to use, just create one called the first page, because my first page is different to the rest of them. So I create my stationary part, I click OK, then it asks me to, to select the PDF that I'm going to be using. In this case here, it's the headed paper. Click, click open. And what I get now is my first page that's going to appear on every single document here. And you can see a preview. Now, the reason for that is that I'm going to apply this PDF to all the pages. You know, do I want to apply them to just the first, uh, exclude the first page, exclude the last page, just the first page, last page, etc. You've got some options there. As this is my first page, I am going to choose the first page option. And now you can see my letterhead appears on the first page and then my continuation sheets are currently blank. So we need to go and create another part. So if we choose add, and let's call this one continuation. So um, let's make sure I spell it correctly, uh, continuation, and click OK. And again, it asks me, OK, what PDF do you want to use next then? So this one is the continuation sheet. Click OK. Now, my continuation sheet, I don't want on all pages, of course. I say I do want all pages, but I want to exclude the first page. And now you can see the uh, preview change. If I uncheck that okay, and recheck it, you can now see that the first page is going to be applied to the first page, my continuation to the rest. Now, I do have other options. Of course, I could do a page range. I could add other PDFs and draw them, uh, add them to the page. I have a draw as background option as well that enables me, uh, think of it center back, bring to front, those type of things. If you've got images, we can draw it as the background to a document um, or we can bring it to the front. It really depends on what you want to do there. But leave it like this is fine for a letterhead. OK, so let's save it and let's call it letterhead and click OK. Now, if I just close this down to click OK, if we go to our stationery, we can now see we've got this letterhead option we can use. So how would, now once I've set that up, how would I use that? Let's just minimize PDF docs for a minute and go over and into Word. So I've created a document in Word, and I just want to be able to convert this to a PDF and apply my letterhead to it. Now, this might, of course, be a PDF already, but if I open it up in PDF docs, this will just take that document and brings it in as a PDF file. So now I've got the Word document that's converted as a PDF, or it could have been a PDF you've already got in there. Now I want to apply um, the stationary set to it. Now we do that by using the edit ribbon. And here we can apply page numbers, we can apply watermarks, but in this example, we want to choose this letterhead option. And if I select that, of course, what it does for me is then applies the letterhead for me. And you can see I've got my footer there, and then I've got my um, footer down the bottom there. So pretty much I've just taken the document and applied a letterhead. I can then save it, of course, and then out it would out it will go. So I can very easily just collate those documents together. This is running in single document mode. I may be using uh, the organizer mode. So if I go and grab a document here and just import this into the project, of course, it would drop it straight into the organizer. Now the organizer, of course, enables me to work on many, many documents. And I do still have the option under the edit ribbon here to apply the stationery. But if I am working on lots of documents and lots of pages of documents, I may decide at the end just to use an output option here. And from stationary, I have the same thing. Now, with output options, of course, if you highlight them as blue, nothing applies to the document until you output it. So, for example, here I could hit preview 
and then I can take a look at the document and you can see the letter heads on there once again. So that enables me to do all of that. The other option, of course, when you're using uh, the organizers, if you choose to email this or choose to save it, any of these, you do have these output options here. And of course, there is the stationary option. You can apply the stationary at that point and then go and continue to save. So you've got a couple of options there on how you can apply the letterheads. You can have, oops, you can have multiple stationary sets. If you choose manage a set, of course, there is your set to manage. Um, but if you wanted to, you could create a brand new one and then continue just uh, creating a new set. So if I created this one for all pages, for example, maybe I just want my logo. Let's just use that for this example. I want it on all pages and I'm now going to save this as a memo. OK, like that. Okay. So now what it means, of course, from stationary, I do have letterhead and memo. Of course, I can switch between those quite happily or use them for different things. So I do have the ability to do that. If I have chosen to add a uh, stationary set, so if I go to my edit ribbon here and choose to add a stationary set like this, if I've already got one on there and want to get rid, uh, want to remove it, I can, of course, go to stationary and remove my stationary set and it'll just clear it up for me. So that's really how you can use the apply stationary option to enable you uh, to apply and uh, to overlay PDFs to those uh, to documents you are creating. Yes, we can create them and we can deploy them. Obviously, as part of our central config, you can create some standard ones and deploy them out. But if you want to do that, then please just contact uh, the account manager, your account manager, and they will get get in touch. We'll be able to help you. But for now, I hope you found that uh, video useful. And of course, if you've got any questions, once again, just contact your account manager and we will be able to help. Many thanks for your time. And I look forward to speaking to you again very soon. Many thanks. <music>